Hi, and welcome back to the McGraw-Hill Reading Wonders Quick Start videos. This video is going to focus on rostering your students. Hopefully by this point you have set your class up, you've customized your calendar, and now you're ready to add students into your class. Now it's going to be important for you to check with your district administrator or technical support person to see if McGraw-Hill has uploaded all of the students from your district for you or if they are going to require that you upload the students for your class. So if they've already uploaded the students, it's easy. You'll be able to find those students and we'll, and we'll get there in just a second. But I want you to notice on my book bag now that if you have to import your students, over on the right-hand side of the screen, you're, see, you're going to see where it says Import Students. And so I'm going to click on that and just kind of show you where you would want to go. When you click on Import Students, you will see there is a template to download. Then you will find the instructions of how to fill out that template. Once you've filled out that template, it will allow you to create usernames and passwords for your students as well as then step three is that you'll want to upload that template into the connected system and then your students will be registered. Okay, so we're going to cancel that. We're not going to really do that. We're going to go back to our book bag. Now that we're back here in our book bag, I'm going to use grade four today as an example of how to get students into your class. So remember, you have your student edition and, of course, teacher edition, but what we want to use is the grade four teacher edition. You can click on the cover of the book or click on the words that say Reading Wonders grade four. So now we are in the teacher center and I want to add students into my class. So I'm going to click on the words manage and assign. You can do that either from the icon at the bottom or across the top. Now you're going to see three tabs. I want you to click on the tab that says Class Details. And here is, of course, remember where we created our class, but what we want to do here is we want to add students. So I'm going to click on the button that says Plus Students. Now, of course, when you are doing this in your account, you will see your district name come up as far as selecting an account. And you can use the drop-down menus that say class, content, grade level to really narrow that search. And it'll be easier to find all of the kids that belong in your class. I'm just going to add a couple of kids so you can see how I can find them. For example, I know that I've added myself, Brandon, as a student. So I'm going to just type in, in the first name, Brandon. And that's it. And then I'm going to go right to the bottom of that box. I'm going to hit search. Now it's searching for any child in the connected system that's named Brandon, but I know that I'm listed as Brandon H. So I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. There I am, and I mark myself, and then I go down and hit save. So if you're able to search, of course, by your grade level, your school, you'll be able to, of course, see a much con much more condensed list, and you're not going to be looking for individual students, so you could find you know, those students that belong in your class and check, 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 add them. Uh, let me just show you another way. So I'm going to go again to add students. And now I'm going to say, for example, I'm going to search by first and last name. So I have a student who's in the system. I know Artie, first name Artie. And then last name, I can actually put in a last name here because I know he's listed by his last name as well, Abrams. And then I go and click search. And he's the only Artie Abrams in the entire connected system. I check next to his name and then I click save. Now, of course, once you're here and you have all of your kids, notice there are options for you to create groups. So you can you see the list there that says create groups. You could print a whole list of passwords for your students if you need to do that. What I think is also really important is setting the teaching level. So once you've done some diagnostic testing or as you go through the year and you discover their different uh, instructional levels, you can set, select them. So I'm going to say Artie is approaching and Brandon is on level. Wherever they, wherever they may be falling, and what's great is you go throughout the year, we know that students are going to accelerate and level up, and so those levels can change at any time. But when you set those levels, that will actually show you 
what level of leveled reader will automatically appear week to week on the student dashboard. The other thing that I think is really great if you ever um, need to just make some password cards, over to the right it says view passwords. Kindergarten and first grade teachers, I know you're really going to like this feature because when you click on this, these are printable cards and I would really recommend you print these cards. You can laminate them and use them when you go into a computer lab or as students are learning how to type in their username and passwords and log on. So that's just another feature that's right there in the manage and assign. So now you see how to add students into your class using the Manage and Assign tools on the Teacher Center. I invite you now to take the time, if, you're, if you have the time, to go in and now add students to your class online. Thanks so much.